Oh, what's up, all Wolf Egg members? Tom Wolf here. Welcome to episode 3 of Kitty's Matchmaking. Thanks to B Wolf again. Check him out. Subscribe. Do everything. That guy's fucking incredible. He's a fucking legend. Just want to say it right now. Okay, let's get this person a freaking date with this guy already. Oh my god, she went on like. How much a date? Is this her fifth one? I think it's her fifth. It's fifth or fourth, but this is crazy. One, two, three. No, maybe it's her fourth. I don't know. I, I don't even know how to count at this point. I want to find love immediately, or I will leave. I want you to leave so bad. <laughs> but you know what? It's good entertainment. I'm really trying. Okay, let's go, man. I feel very bad for you, so I have to go to the American restaurant. Alright, let's get a burger and fries. <laughs> or a hot dog, I mean. <laughs> Route 69? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, there are ten types of people in this town. Oh, come on, you go so fast. Route 69. This restaurant produces highly nutritious food, apparently. <laughs> this is gonna be a disaster. <laughs> I hate this person. Hey, oh Stanley, I hope you are in good health this darkening. I should need to meet again. I cannot fault that observation. This must be our third date. I really like this restaurant. It is certainly above the median. Hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> he just got double Cupid. Good evening, are you ready to order? Affirmative. What is your preferred sustenance? I like something hot with red meat. I like this music. Hot with red meat. Would it be buffalo wings? <laughs> or this? Probably this. No, that's not it. I'm gonna guess the wings. Can't be a bacon cheeseburger. Yeah, there we go. I will require two rations of buffalo wings, please. It's a chef's specialty. <laughs> Dude, how much Cupid arrows do I have to put in here? <laughs> I have to keep shooting fucking arrows in them, I think. I can't talk about this shit. I can't talk about that. I guess I could- No! Like, fuck. What haven't we talked about? This is bullshit. I can't talk about occupation. Is my hairstyle attractive to you? What haven't we talked about? <laughs> you guys are just not compatible. <laughs> I just can't find this bitch of guy. Fuck, I'm really trying. I don't know what to talk about. a nightmare. It's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> to occupation. Please tell me your occupation, Sailor. <laughs> I can <laughs> I'm fucking done. Okay. Oh shit. I answered every question correctly, and that was the toast of the science club. Wow, that's a fantastic story. It was the best thing since the Big Bang. Dude, they are not getting together. I don't care about her. I can't talk about anything else. We literally talked about everything. Have you any thoughts on my gothic makeup? This is possibly the worst day I've ever been on. I just got a text from my dog. There's an emergency. Gotta go. This <laughs> does not make sense, sir. <laughs> it's your fault. You're too picky. <laughs> I don't care. I just don't care. Just leave my office. <laughs> Three failed dates. Well, it wasn't three failed dates. He still said he'd see you again. But you're like, a bit, I can't do anything. 
Please just give me another client. Please. I just want to end this point. <laughs> that was fucking terrible. <laughs> please. Please give me a different client, please. I don't want to see her anymore. <laughs> okay, cool. Finally. I get to pick a guy. Oh my god, I hope it's not gonna be like a transgender- B-Wolf said you can hook, hook up gays in this game and that's gonna be really awkward, but whatever, let's see what happens. Hi, I'm Cornelius, I'm a door-to-door -door salesperson, now I'm looking for a man. <laughs> Hello, I'm Cornelius. He is looking for a man, <laughs> what the fuck? I'm interested in plane spotting, microscopic things, and urban exploration. And I love blue eyes and light brown hair. Can you help me find my soulmate? <sighs> I don't want to fucking do this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just can't do this. I I want to... I'm going to come back on this episode... But I want to hook up a girl and a guy. I just cannot do this. I'm sorry. Okay. I didn't want to show it really, but first attempt, I got these two gay couples in love. First attempt. Okay. Hopefully I get, like, a chicken. If I get another gay date, whatever, I'll just show it. I was just curious how good I was going to do, and I did it. First time. I'm a bottom feeder now. <laughs> All right, let's go. One last date, or like one more client, and then I'm gonna end <laughs> this game. It's just so weird. I thought I wish Tom would one on one. Okay. Okay. Alright, spiciness, activity, social is all about. I'm always keen to know if my date's team player It's such a fucking weird game. Alright, let's do this. <sighs> let's get a normal freaking point. Please, like, guy, girl, have fun. But you know, if it's a gay couple, whatever, I'll probably. Oh no, this guy's probably gonna be gay, whatever. Next client, 23 minutes. I, I don't wanna wait. I'm a chip shop worker, now I'm looking for a woman. Oh, okay, here we go. We got a carpenter here, and he's looking for a woman. Okay, let's go. I thought he was gay for a second. Okay. Right. Hello, I'm Roman. I'm a chip shop worker, now I'm looking for a woman. I'm interested in UFOs, Sudoku, and daytime TV. You sound like a girl. <laughs> daytime TV. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I love gray eyes and ginger hair. I consider myself to be introvert. Oh, same here. Can you help me find my soulmate? That's a geeky type if ever I've seen one. Yeah, he kind of is. Ooh, a carpet fitter. Love Libby. <laughs> gray eyes. It might be her. Uh, could be her too. She kind of has a big nose, but it's okay. Let's go for it. Dale serious person. You know what? Go with big nose. I think you guys can hit it off. Let's go. Get ready to watch them, Wolves. I'm gonna go to the American restaurant. I'm gonna try and get them first time. I'm telling you, that first client was impossible for me. I could not do it. Or maybe I'm just getting more used to the game. But either way, it was fun. Let's go. Let's get these two lovebirds going. Route 69. I wonder what they're wearing. Hello, are you Libby? Yes, I am. You must be Roman. Pleased to meet you. This is a nice place, isn't it? Yes, it's quite popular, actually. Oh, your eyes are a lovely shade of gray. Thanks, it's very nice of you to see. Good evening, may I take your order? Yes, please. What would you like? 
I like something hot with fish. Hot with fish. A corn on the cup. <laughs> I don't even know what the heck jab jabbly is. Hot with fish. Spicy food, seafood, and rice. It's probably that. Let's try it. Two portions of jambalay, please. A wonderful choice. Sounds delicious. Yes! <laughs> yes, it does, doesn't it? At least these two are normal. Definitely talk about clothes first. Ooh. What's that? Side? The left. That's weird. Ooh, what's that? Social. Let's try it. When at a party, do you sit in the corner looking at your phone? Or mingle with everyone? Good question. Probably sit in the corner looking at your phone. Yes! So how about you? I'd have to say sit in the corner looking at your phone. Why attract unnecessary attention? Exactly. I'm surprised, actually. <laughs> she looks like the partying type. Dinner is served. I'm doing good. See, this is like a normal, nice couple to get with, you know? They'll like each other's hair, why not? So, do you like my hairstyle? Yes, it looks quite nice, actually. Thanks, I did it myself. What do you think of my hair, then? <sighs> the same man. I suppose it's alright. Right, then. Tell me, have you got any good stories? Oh, yes, this is a good one. Once when I was a child, I climbed up this massive tree. Damn it. I could just... There we go. My <laughs> Okay, I can't even read it. Because I had to, like, memorize it. We spent the night and told ghost stories. Wow, that's a fantastic story. Yes, it was great, actually. I mean, yeah, her hair is just kind of meh. I think it looks kind of cool, though. I really don't want to talk about horoscopes, to be honest. I'll talk about clothing. What do you think of my outfit? It's amazing, I love it. Oh, you'll make me blush. So, do you like my outfit? Yes, it's quite nice. That's kind of you to say so. Should we get the bill? I'll call our waiter. What did the waiter look like again? Elliot. That's easy. Waiters are always easy. I do apologize. Here's your bill. Thank you very much. Well, Spy, I've forgotten what they looked like. Ow. I never forget our foods. Is that, is that the time? Yes, I suppose we should get going. I think I hit them off pretty good. <laughs> I really like them. We go. Do you want to get more serious? Yes, I think I'm in love with you. Yeah, yeah. This is the best feeling ever. She has a big nose, though. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Just take a little of the makeup off. Do some of your nose, and you're good. <laughs> Maybe switch your hair. I don't know. Yes. Alright, well, that's gonna be my last episode. That first client, man. Oh my god, what a nightmare. I really... <laughs> I could, she talked about everything she could with that guy, and every time she's like, meh, and then he's just gonna take it in offense, and I had to try and lie. It was terrible. But this, first try. First try. And with the gay couple before. First try. They're in the hot tub, drinking martinis, having a good time. The first girl, she has to question everything. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, stay quiet, stay always eat your pizza. Hopefully you enjoyed this playthrough. Thank B Wolf again. Uh, thank you, family, friends, for always supporting me. And... I love Evie and all that other stuff. Anyways, stay classy, always eat your pizza. Boom! <laughs>